Okay, when your extruder reaches the, the set temperature, it should take about two to three minutes. Then we can test the extruder. So on the in your Repetio software on the right hand side, you also see the extruder icon at the bottom. There's two buttons with arrows, one with one arrow and one with two arrows. At the top there's one button with one arrow pointing upwards. So if you press one of the the but the buttons at the bottom, your extruder gear should move. So if you if you press that, it should rotate uh, anti-clockwise so that it feeds the um, if the filament is between the bearing and the the extruder gear, then it should feed it downwards. If your extruder is turning the wrong way around, you can just flip the the switch on the on the electronics so that the the, the pulse of the motor is is turned around. If your hot end is not above 180 degrees Celsius, then the extruder will not work. Uh, this is a function in the firmware. It's called um, prevent cold extrusion. So it's a safety feature to not operate the extruder if the, the hot end is not on because that might damage some some parts if you if you do that okay so now we will put the filament into the extruder how we do that is we take the filament you can cut off the the tip to make sure you have a nice clean piece of filament. If you have the, the all metal hot end it's a good idea to to dip the the tip of the filament in olive oil or high quality cooking oil to season the, the hot end on the inside with the jade it's not it's not necessary. So how we insert the filament is we'll press down on the lever and we'll insert it into the between the bearing and the gear and now you need to make sure that it goes into the hot end because the, the hole of the hot end at the top is quite small so if the filament does not find the hole then it won't go into the hot end but as soon as the filament finds the hole then it, it goes into the, the hot end very nicely and it's usually the, the, the first time is the most difficult but as soon as you start to to use the hot end, then it will be it start to to open up that hole a bit more, and it's easier to get the the filament in. I usually look from the top so that I can see the hole in the in the hot end, and then I insert the filament uh, so that it goes into the hot end. Once you've done that, you can press on the. Um, the button with the one arrow at the bottom that feeds the, the filament into the, the hot end. You can go about 10 millimeters at a time. So what that means is it moves the filament 10 millimeters at a time into the, the hot end. You can do that a few times and after the, the second or the third time they should start to uh, the plastic should come out the bottom. So you can continue to, to do that to make sure there's no impurities or things in your hot end because this is the first time that you use your hot end and make sure that the plastic is coming out nicely at the, the bottom. So as soon as it comes out the bottom it will it will um, start to cool down and form a small blob there and that's fine and once you've done that a couple of times um, you can just remove the plastic that has been extruded just watch out sometimes it's it's still very hot okay so now we know our hot end is, is working properly and now we can prepare our heated bed so how we prepare a heated bed for a print is we take off the glass 
Remove the glass from the printer. And we need to coat the, the top of the glass with something to make sure that the plastic will stick to the, to the glass. For ABS there's basically three options. The first one is to use hairspray. We use the ultra old, extreme old uh, hairspray from, from Fista. You can also use what they call ABS juice. It's a mixture between ABS and acetone. So you dissolve the ABS in the acetone and then you coat a small layer of that on top of the glass. Then the acetone evaporates and it leaves you with a very <coughs> thin layer of, of ABS on your, on your glass bed. And then when you print, the, the printed plastic sticks to that ABS. And the third option is to use Capton tape and um, cover the top surface of your glass with, with Capton tape. For PLA, the hairspray should work fine. You can use the same hairspray as for ABS. And then once you've coated your, your heated bed with the desired coating, you can mount it back to your, to your printer. So now we can switch on our heated bed so that it starts to, to warm up. You can switch off your hot end for the moment so that the heated bed heats up first and then when that's hot you can you can switch on your your hot end if you want to. Uh, the, these functions are also in the the code that comes from the, the the computer when it starts to print. So what we usually do is we preheat the, the heated bed because it takes um, around about 20 to to 30 minutes to, to heat up and then when that's hot the hot end heats up a lot quicker. For ABS we usually use a heated bed of um, or we set the temperature to 100 degrees Celsius for PLA we print with a heated bed at 70 degrees Celsius. So while the heated bed is heating up what we'll do is we'll prepare our model for printing. I will do that is in the Reptio software we click on the, the top left hand corner next to the uh, disconnect button or the connect button. There is load. We'll press on that and it will open a window and then we can select our model that we want to print. It uses a STL file format. You can either um, draw your own models or create your own models with CAD software and then save it as an STL file or you can download from the models from the internet like websites like thingy, thingiverse.com So now we select our model and then it will open in the the viewer. In the viewer you can change the position of your of your model on the heated bed. You can scale your model. You can you can um, create copies if you want to print 10 of them. You can do that as well. And you can also load different parts onto the same bed to print them simultaneously. Okay, so we are only going to print one, one bunny. And for now we're going to position it in the middle of the, of the printing bed. 